Hello everyone, um, this is Mysterious with another video tutorial. In this one, uh, what we're going to do is that we are going to learn how to uh, convert regular pictures into uh, sort of like a comic picture using a few techniques and we're going to also insert another picture inside another one. Alright, the first thing we need to do is to go to File, Open, and we look for our background picture. So I go to Pictures and I will look for uh, the picture I have selected for this uh, project. So it is here, it's uh, this lion. All right. And uh, I am going to look now for the other picture that I want to insert onto this other picture. So in this time I go File, but instead of going File Open, I go to Open as Layer. Open as Layer. So I click there. Again, I have this window where I can look for my picture and uh, I selected a little rabbit so let me see where I can find it mm -hmm. right here all right so I, um, I click open now I will not worry about my lion over here yet so what I'll do is that I'm gonna just uh, click this eye over here so that this layer becomes invisible and the layer is not behind it anymore all right and I have only worked on this layer so what I'm gonna do is to work on my rabbit and the rabbit has this white background that I need to remove. So I will right click and uh, select the option that says alpha channel, add alpha channel. Click there. And I go to my toolbox. In my toolbox, I go to the eraser tool. And, uh, and using the brackets in your keyboard, you can make your um, brush bigger. So I start erasing all the white background you can use the magic wand which is this tool uh, let me see this one over here but uh, since the, this rabbit has some parts that are white I'm afraid that if I use the magic wand it's gonna erase part of the rabbit as well so I need to be very careful and try to just erase what I need so let me go around the rabbit very quickly so that uh, we can get the rabbit. All right. So you keep erasing very carefully. Don't try to uh, hurry. Try to work as quickly as possible, but as long as you can control what are you doing. If not, slow down until you uh, get your job well done. I'm trying to do it quickly because uh, YouTube will not allow me to have a super long video to explain the whole process. So I'm trying to get uh, all the background removed as quickly as I can. All right, let me just remove the, let's make my eraser smaller so I can remove this little white area over here below the ear. All right, and uh, there is also some white I need to remove down here as well. Alright, so there I have my rabbit. It's being removed, all the white area over here. And uh, now what I need to do is to uh, rescale this rabbit. So for this effect, to this effect, I'm going to click on the eye here for this layer so that this layer is visible. But I need to make sure I have this layer selected. Alright, so the, if this, this is not blue, you click on it so it is uh, blue. Now uh, you go to uh, the scale tool. Click on the scale tool, click on your image, and that's why it's very important that you have the correct layer. Then uh, you make the size of your picture smaller or bigger, depending on what you need, and you click scale, and there you go. 
Now I want this bunny to be up here. And uh, I want it to be upside down. So I go to the uh, rotate tool. For that, again, make sure you're in this layer. If you're not sure what layer you're in, click on the layer before you click on the tool. Click on the tool. In this case, I click on the bunny. And I will just rotate the bunny. All right. And I click rotate. And now he's upside down. Now, to be able to move the bunny around without any problem, again, make sure that you're in the correct layer, because every work you do has to be on the correct layer, otherwise it will be moving the wrong layer. I click on this layer, I go to the Move tool, I click on the Move tool, and now I can drag this bunny and put this bunny uh, right up here. All right, here you go. Okay, so now, uh, once I have the picture inserted, all right. What I do is that I merge them so that the two pictures become one. So I right click uh, for this. I need to make sure that the two eyes are over here. That means that the two layers are visible. So I right click and then merge visible layers. Merge visible layers. It asks me in this box over here. Uh, I want all these options. You don't change anything, and you just click merge. And now you see you have one layer over here. All right. Now the whole picture has become one. Now you will copy this by clicking over here to the Create Duplicate tool. So you click twice, one and two. So now you have three layers. You have three layers of the same picture. You choose the bottom one and you make it invisible because you're going to be working on the top ones over here. All right. Once you have made this one invisible, you make sure you are on the top layer. Once you're on the top layer, you go to your pictures over here. You will right click. You will go to uh, colors, and in colors, you will go invert. So it's going to turn like this, like negative. After you click on invert, then you're going to right click again. But this time, you will go to filters, and in filters, you will go to blur. And in blur, you will go to Gaussian blur. You click on Gaussian blur, and when you get this window, you want to change the blur radius horizontal and vertical from 5 to 7 and you click OK so it makes it a little bit blurry once you have changed and added that filter you make sure you're on this layer it's very important you're on the top layer because otherwise you will be doing all this work on a different layer and you don't want that to happen so uh, you make sure you're here and you're gonna change the mode when you go over here you see that the mode says normal click over here and you change from normal to dodge when you change it to dodge, it looks like somebody has used coloring pencils or something similar and has colored your picture. And that's what you want. So you will right click, once you get that, you right click and then you merge visible layers. Again, when that happens, you will right click and go to merge visible layers. And that's the very important thing because that's why the bottom one needs to be invisible. Because if you have the three of them with the eye, when you merge the uh, layers, you're going to be merging the three layers. You don't want to merge the three layers. You want to merge only the two at the top, not the one at the bottom. So you right click, merge visible layers, go to merge, and now you have two layers. You got two layers. All right. Now, you still remain on this layer. You go back over here. You right click, and this time you go to colors. But instead of going to invert, you will go to threshold right here. When you go to threshold, you'll notice that your picture is almost kind of like gone, and you will change this to around 240. All right, so you can just select and put 240. And uh, when you put 240, uh, you'll notice, or you can actually probably do 241 or 230 something. You'll see that you get more details on your picture. So try to get something close to 240, or uh, it could be 240 something or 230 something, depending on your picture. So you can get as many details as possible. In this case, I want the rabbit to. Uh, show so I'm gonna try to get this detail so it's gonna be 243 and I click OK so it turns kinda like on a photocopy type of uh, picture alright now once you do that you need to create a transparency layer and you will do that by going here to create a new layer and you click here you have this window over here make sure that the option that says transparency is chosen and you click OK that layer needs to be on top if the layer shows up on a different place let's say it's at the bottom or it's uh, in between. You can drag it as I'm doing it and you will move it at the top or you can use the arrows over here to put it to the top. 
All right, then you click on that transparency layer. As you click on that transparency layer, you will go to the mode. In the mode, you click on the mode, and in the mode, you will go to multiply. It's very important that you do multiply to the transparency layer. Again, you click on the uh, layer, the transparency layer, and you go to the mode, and you select multiply. All right, not to this one, not to this one to the top one, the transparency layer. The idea of putting it in multiply mode is that now you can color, all right, and it will the color will not go over the black lines. So it's like you have a coloring page and you have coloring pencils and you can color. And you color very quickly by using the paintbrush. Then you go over here and you select your colors. So I'm gonna color very quickly so that um, so let me get the background. The background could be probably that. And I make the size of my brush bigger, just in the same way I made the erasers bigger or smaller by using the brackets in the keyboard. And now I start coloring around, all right? So I color around. And uh, again, to defect of this video, I will try to color very quickly, but you will uh, do it slowly and cautiously, carefully. Let's uh, work on this quickly. Now this part, uh, I need to make my brush smaller, so I do not color the lion or the rabbit. Uh -huh. Okay, now let me make it a little bit smaller so I can go around here. Okay, and uh, now let's work on the lion. So I need the lion to kind of like have uh, this type of color for the hair, this part. Mm -hmm. All right. Now the more intricate your picture uh, probably the more difficult it's going to be for you to be able to uh, do this part All right now let me pick a different color a little bit lighter It's the probably a more uh, like the yellowish uh, color of this color probably uh -huh, for the face. All right, Let me color quickly here. All right there. Right there. Right there. And now I'm gonna color uh, the rest. I'm going to color this background with this color. All right. So I color as much as I can very quickly. As quickly as I can. And I'll do pretty much the same with the rabbit. Because the ears of the rabbits are kind of like the same color over here. All right. Once you've finished doing this, you're going to merge the two layers, these two layers, the top layers, these two layers need to be merged. All right? So you right click and merge the layers. There you go. Okay, now you select this layer, you move it to the top, and then you change the uh, opacity between 50 to 60. to get the effect you need. Okay, uh, well, this, in this case, I will do like 43. Once you're done, you right click, 
merge visible, merge again, and you have your picture. Then you go file, export, make sure you have your picture in JPG, you could rename your picture, so for example, I would say lion final, and I save it on pictures, and I click export. It will ask it for the quality, I put the 100, click export again, and that's it. That's it, that's all the work. That's, that's how do you do it.